Good afternoon. It's feeling much more like spring. We have temperatures soaring through the 60s throughout much of the area this afternoon. We have a few breaks in those clouds, but for the most part, we are seeing mainly cloudy skies. Most of us, though, are dry. Here's a live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Skycam this afternoon. Again, all is quiet, just a little breezy, but that breeze helping to pump in all of this warmth. Just look at this 68 degrees now in South Boston, 64 for us in the Hill City, mid 60s also in Danville. We are in the low to mid 60s across much of the New River Valley, upper 60s for us in Roanoke right now, and these temperatures continuing to head back towards the 70s. Things change quick though. We're fast forwarding through tomorrow at 10 o'clock. A very warm, borderline muggy start to the day tomorrow with temperatures not falling out of the upper 50s. I think some of us get started in the mid 60s tomorrow morning. You see that here. Watch what happens though. The blues are quick to come back. We have a big time cold front ready to slice through the area for the second half of tomorrow afternoon and into the evening. Here's 9 o'clock tomorrow night. You see temperatures already back into the 40s, so almost a 30 degree temperature drop from this afternoon until tomorrow night. Still hanging on to the 50s though by late tomorrow evening. By Saturday morning, some of us waking up in the upper 20s, 20s and 30s across the board. By 8 or 9 o'clock Saturday morning, we are going to get temperatures to get back into the upper 30s and lower 40s by the afternoon, but nonetheless, we are about 30 or so degrees colder than where we're going to be later on this afternoon. Just a few stray showers sliding around another disturbance off towards our west that stays towards our north for now. Our next shot at rain comes by on Friday and that's along that cold front that delivers this batch of colder air and the potential for a wintry mix, at least the colder air to help that set up. We've been tracking this area of high pressure and you see there's the wedge, that little batch of cold air just hanging around the spine of the Appalachians. You see we are colder south than uh, parts of West Virginia and Kentucky that are north and typically colder than us. And that's all because of the wedge, that area of higher pressure sending us that colder air down the mountains. Watch what happens. We start to get some of that precipitation to meet up with that colder air. I think most of the precipitation right along the Virginia North Carolina border going to stay as mainly rain, but you see that mix right along 460 mainly points to the north of that. The best opportunity to shovel out of this deal it looks like at this point going to be in the highlands may be able to see all kinds of precipitation in that pink zone through much of the New River Valley, the Roanoke Valley into central Virginia. Most of this going to be rain across south side. A closer look at that shows again later tonight. We are dry. Better opportunity for some rain comes back into the picture tomorrow with this cold front coming in. And then the opportunity for that mess to work its way back in. Mainly Saturday afternoon. You see it here starting out as a little bit of rain. As the wedge sends that colder air down, we see that changeover and there's five, six, seven o'clock the late afternoon, early evening. That's when we can get in on some of that uh, wintry mix to some light snow, especially into the highlands on Saturday. Still tracking this very, very carefully. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich will have the latest on this later tonight. We are mainly cloudy and mild temperatures around 60. Buckle up for the crazy ride. 60s tomorrow, 40s on Saturday and then back to the 70s. Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be right back after the break. Freedom